A scholarship awarding ceremony was organized by the Indian High Commission and the Ministry of Education. The scholarships were provided under the provisions of the Indian government. The event was attended by Minister of Education Dr. Susil Prema Jayanta, Indian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka Gopal Bagle, and many other high ranking officials. Dr. Susil Prema Jayanta said that by the end of June, the government will be introducing updated ICT programs and artificial intelligence to schools. All these students, don't confine to your studies to textbooks and the notes and the examinations. So you have to improve your knowledge and update your knowledge. We are taking measures as the Minister of Education to transform education. So very soon, by end of June, we are going to introduce updated ICT programs and artificial intelligence for selected 20 schools covering all nine provinces. Then from 2024, grade 6 to 9 and 10 to 13, within four years, we are going to update and complete ICT and AI. So very soon, the cabinet will approve the digitalization of education within next two weeks' time. Then we introduce the updated syllabuses in a selected schools and then by 2024, we are starting. Within ne next four years, we have to complete it. So I must take this opportunity to thank again His Excellency the High Commission of India and the Indian government for supporting us to uh, supply uh, the materials to print textbooks uh, for the year 2023. Indian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka, Gopal Bagle, emphasized on the importance of turning Sri Lanka into a hub for international higher education. With the Honorable Minister, who is a very dear friend, education is an area of very significant focus of India for cooperation with Sri Lanka. This is scholarship that you will give, get, is a very humble contribution. There are other scholarships which India extends for Sri Lankan students to go to India and study graduation, post-graduation, post-doctorate, in any field that you choose. Consider India as your own home. In fact, India and Sri Lanka can actually cooperate to make Sri Lanka a hub for international higher education. It is also a country which can be made into a tourism and transport hub and energy hub. But together with it, it can also be made into an education hub because if internationally recognized and famous institutes come here and they work for the higher education, bright future of our students, Sri Lanka can not only educate its youth, but with the cooperation of countries like India, it can also earn a lot of foreign exchange and prevent foreign exchange from going out of the country when the youth go out to study. Students who completed their GCE Ordinary Level Examination for the year 2019-2020 and 2020-2022 received this scholarship today.